Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson in for Sean Murphy. Behind me we have a shot of 422 at 23. Tail lights are heading eastbound. I'll tell you what's going on there as well as where there are some malfunctioning traffic lights coming up next. And good morning. I'm meteorologist Melissa Sander. And ahead we've got some rain on tap. What kind of a weekend will it be? I'll let you know. And new developments in the search for a missing pregnant mother. Police search the home of the father of her unborn child. And now, UPN 57 Wake Up News. It's Friday, July 29th. We've got nonstop traffic, the latest weather, and your morning headlines. Arrive on time and inform, no matter where you're headed. Good morning, I'm Karen Adams. The time now is 6 o'clock, and time to turn it on over to Michelle Person for another look at the roadways. Michelle. Thanks a lot, Karen. Let's start things off right here where we have an accident. It's in Falls Township. It's Penn Valley Road and Route 13. Elsewhere, some construction to tell you about. In Lower Salford Township, right here, it's Fretz Road, scheduled closed and detoured by Skip Pack and Creek Road. It is scheduled construction, so go with Cassell Road instead. Elsewhere in Lower Salford Township, we have the construction right here. Bridge Road, scheduled to be closed and detoured between Store Road and Old 40 Foot Road. Let's take a look outside and let's take a look at 422 right now. As you can see, you're doing fine approaching 23. Tail lights are heading eastbound. No delays at this time, but keep in mind it's still early and as the morning progresses, we will see those buildups from Oaks down to 202. And westbound side, you've got a fine ride right here. Let's take a look back at the maps and tell you about the Betsy Ross Bridge construction right here on southbound 95. It's at the Betsy Ross Bridge. It's going to block one lane starting today at 9 a.m. and go until 3 p.m. It won't affect afternoon rush. And elsewhere on 95 southbound right here, this is between Route 413 and Woodhaven Road. We have that sound wall installation not backing up traffic at this time. As you can see, still all of your green cars, and that's been out there for a while. And we have a construction project on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. That's going to start Saturday night at midnight between Valley Forge Road and Norristown. It's a scheduled road closure. Like I said, it's going to start at midnight and go until 6 a.m. Sunday morning. And in preparation for this, Saturday night at 9 o'clock p.m. preparation, you are going to have a full roadway closure. Elsewhere, let's take a look at Northeast Philly where we have that malfunctioning traffic light. It's right here. It is at Somerdale Avenue and Devereaux Avenue. So just be very careful in this area. Melissa, over to you. Okay, time to take a look at what is happening with our current conditions. And let me tell you something. We have some more cloud cover out there this morning than we did yesterday. Variably cloudy to mostly cloudy skies and 70 degrees is the official temperature in Philly right now. 73 is our temperature with our thermometer in Center City. The relative humidity, 84%. The winds are calm. You know, if only that relative humidity were higher, then this would be a great recipe for some fog out there. But instead, what we have is clouds uh, higher up in the atmosphere streaming in from the south, streaming in along the coastline, actually, where you see some very heavy downpours along with other showers moving out of North Carolina up into Virginia. It looks like it's starting to fall apart now, but there's a lot more moisture headed in our direction. It's ocean moisture being wrapped in by an area of low pressure that's working its way up along the coastline. So here's what's going to do to our situation today. We'll have more sun this morning than this afternoon and a chance of showers moving in later on this afternoon, especially if you live south of Wilmington. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we get into the nighttime hours, you're looking at mainly cloudy skies. Overnight lows around 70 with periods of rain showers developing and especially heavy downpours in northeast Maryland into Delaware. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we're heading for one of these weekends when it looks like one half is going to be not so great, but the other half is going to be just fine. We'll talk about all that along with the rest of the five-day outlook that's coming up in just a couple of minutes. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. New developments in the search for a missing pregnant mother. Philadelphia police searched two homes overnight in hopes of finding evidence in the Latoya Figueroa case. The first home is that of Stephen Poche, the father of Figueroa's unborn child. Detectives are now questioning him. Police took pictures but did not remove any evidence from that home. And authorities say the second home is that of Poche's current girlfriend, where they removed several bags of evidence and a piece of floorboard. Family, friends, and police searched Cobbs Creek Park yesterday looking for possible clues. If it's going to be for the good or for the bad, I got to stick by my daughter's side. I can't turn my, I can't turn my back on her. 
Stephen Poche is the last known person to see Figueroa. He says the pregnant mother left his West Philadelphia home the afternoon of July 18th after they went to her doctor's appointment. Figueroa also has a seven-year-old daughter. A Delaware County neighborhood is on edge after two women are robbed and assaulted inside the home they share. Police say one of the victims is a cab driver who stopped by her Lansdowne home during her overnight shift yesterday. She found her roommate unconscious inside, and police say she was then grabbed from behind by the attacker and assaulted. The man then ran off. Police say they now have the right suspect charged in the rape of a woman at a Chinatown subway stop. Estrada Cornelia de la Rosa was arraigned on rape and murder charges yesterday. A big celebration was held last night for the man wrongly accused. Police say witnesses confused Omar de la Rosa for his half-brother Cornelio. Omar, a native of Mexico, still faces a deportation hearing for a 1999 conviction of assaulting a police officer. A nightclub bouncer accused of roughing up a patron now faces a lesser charge. Lyle Henry is accused of pushing David LaSalle over a rail on May 30th. That's after LaSalle was thrown out of a South Street nightclub in Philadelphia. Henry was originally charged with attempted murder and aggravated assault, but yesterday a judge reduced the charge to just simple assault. The time now is 6.05 and time for Michelle to give us another look at the roadways. Michelle take it away. Thanks a lot, Karen. Let's start things off southbound on Route 73, where we have an accident to tell you about. It's near Brick Road, the left lane. There is an overturned vehicle, so just be careful here. Not really affecting traffic at this time. Let's take a look at that construction. It's at the Ben Franklin Bridge right here. You have one lane being taken out as you head into Jersey. This is eastbound. It's the right lane, but you're doing fine. No traffic delays. Westbound side, no delays heading into Philly, and everything is looking fine at the Walt Whitman Bridge. Down here, Betsy Ross, no delays at this time. Elsewhere, let's take a look in Upper Darby Township where we have a fire. Radbourne Road near Long Lane. It's an overnight fire location, so there are local detours posted for you. In northeast Philly, we have a traffic light malfunctioning. This is at Somerdale Ave and Devereaux Avenue, so be careful. Use a lot of caution in this area. And Route 309, Expressway closed. Route 73, this is the Flower Town off-ramp. It is shut down also Route 73 Church Road. The ramp to southbound Route 309 is shut down, all for ongoing construction. And we have a construction project right here on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. It's going to start Saturday night at midnight and go until Sunday morning at 6 a.m. Because of this, it's between Valley Forge and Norristown, so you are going to have one lane closed here. Also expect single lane patterns in either direction on Saturday evening beginning around 9. In preparation for that full lane closure later on at midnight. Mass Transit is on or close to schedule at this time. No delays to tell you about on any of your other major or secondary roadways. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening with the temperatures out there. You know, it's interesting because Philadelphia is a little bit warmer than we were this hour yesterday. 70 degrees right now. The official temp in Philly and 70 uh, th rather, 73 is our center city temperature, and 70 is the official temp in Philadelphia. But most of us waking up to the low to mid 60s. And why is that? Because we have a couple uh, bands of cloud cover working its way streaming in from the south. And so Philadelphia has one of those spots that has some cloud cover right over it and keeping our temperatures uh, pretty steady while other spots are clear, allowing the warmth uh, in the atmosphere just to escape up. And <laughs> Should I say that right? Allowing the warmth of the Earth's surface to escape up into the atmosphere. That's what I meant. You're just waking up, and you don't really care about this, do you? Let me show you what's happening with the radar. I will show you this right now. Yesterday, we stayed dry. We saw some showers trying to make it out of Maryland and couldn't push its way east. So today, will we be the same? Not exactly. We have more clouds working in with showers, a better possibility later on this afternoon into the nighttime hours. Air quality today, though, this is good news. It is good for both ozone and pollution. So you can breathe easy, get up there and exercise exercise. The temperatures are just right for that. Tree, grass, and weed pollen is moderate. The mold spore count is very high once again. And the day ahead goes like this. 72 degrees, partly cloudy skies driving into work. 79 new time, a mix of sun and clouds. 82 when you're driving home, mostly cloudy skies with a chance of showers, especially if you live in Delaware and northeast Maryland. That's your best chance of seeing some showers then. We're going to see more showers developing tonight. Periods of rain overnight in through Saturday. The heaviest downpours overnight in Delaware and northeast Maryland. Man, you're going to get drenched. But look at our temperatures sink down a little bit to just below 80 degrees and bump back up to the mid 80s for Sunday with clearing skies. Monday, lots of sunshine and 90 on Tuesday. Coming up, we'll talk about the extended forecast and the travel cast. Karen. 
Thanks, Melissa. In the headlines, the excessive heat that has now left our area is being blamed for another death. 71-year-old Jean Castillo was found dead in her home in the 2400 block of South Hutchinson Street in Philadelphia. Please say the windows were closed and there was no air conditioning. Encouraging words from a new shore report. Environmental groups say many New Jersey beaches, once plagued by pollution, are on the mend. In its annual report, the Natural Resources Defense Council says New Jersey shore closures were down in 2004 from the year before. But it's not all good news. Nationwide, the number of beach closings last year were the highest since the group has been keeping track of them. And trying to get through the cash tolls down the shore on any weekend can turn into a long wait. That's why the New Jersey Turnpike Authority is giving out easy pass applications on the Turnpike and Garden State Parkway this weekend. Right now, 67% of Turnpike drivers and 61% of Parkway drivers use easy pass. That's about 750,000 cars each day. And still to come this morning, after more than a century, your days of shopping at Strawbridges are numbered. We'll tell you which company is merging with the famous chain. And here's a look at the Ben Franklin Bridge. As you can see eastbound, you have that one lane of construction, but not affecting traffic. But I'll tell you about an overturned vehicle on Route 73 coming up next when UPN 57 Wake Up News returns. Traffic.com. Isn't it time? You pay what I pay. Now at Gary Barbera's. You pay what I pay. 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 You forgot the most important part of all, the deal. Gary Barbera, Baby Bentley 300s, Dodge Magnums, even Dodge Chargers. You pay what I pay. Your choice, $19,990. You pay what we pay. And, oh, yeah. Come, Spencer sent you. Is Barbera the best? Boy, I guess. We're an NASCAR racing team. Be fooled by those 50% or $100 off gimmicks. Get the best deal at America's Best. Two pairs of designer glasses for $69.95 with a free eye exam. Hundreds of designer frames. Ellen Tracy, Timberland, Liz Claiborne, and more. And kids get two pairs for $69.95 with free impact resistant lenses and a free eye exam. Wear contacts? Join the Eye Care Club and get free eye exams for three years. Plus soft net or active view contacts for only $12.49. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or go online. Millions of American families rely on Ford. Right now, Ford invites you to join the Ford Family Plan and pay the same low prices our employees and their families pay. Until August 1st, you'll get our discounts on the entire family of Ford cars in stock, including the five-star crash safety rated Ford 500. Now get a Ford 500 for just $19,994. That's under 20 grand for the award-winning 500. No hassles, no gimmicks. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer today and welcome to the family. Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson in for Sean Murphy. Let's start things off with an accident in New Jersey. This crash is in Marlton. It's southbound Route 73 near Brick Road. It is blocking the left lane and involves an overturned vehicle. Elsewhere, let's take a look outside right now. Let's take a shot of the Ben Franklin Bridge. As you can see, you are doing fine westbound, heading into Philly to 8th and Vine. Eastbound side, no delays, but you do have that one lane of construction. It's in the right lane as you head into New Jersey, but as you can see, not affecting traffic at this time. Everything's looking fine at the Walt Whitman and the Betsy Ross Bridge, and as well as all of your other bridges. No delays at this time. Let's head back to the maps and take a look at another accident right here. It's in Upper Darby Township. Actually, it was right here. It was an overnight fire. Radbourne road near Long Lane that looks to have been cleared out of the way. I'll tell you more about that in our next report. Also, let's take a look in Northeast Philly where we have a traffic light malfunctioning. It is right here at Somerdale Ave and Devereaux Avenue. So be very careful here when you have a malfunctioning traffic light. You want to watch out for the person next to you because you never know what they're thinking. And as you can see, traffic along here, along 95, you're moving along just fine. Let's take a look at the Pennsylvania Turnpike where we have a construction project. It's right here. It's going to start Saturday night at midnight and go until Sunday morning at 6 a.m. And you want to watch out here. You are going to have a lane closure and in preparation 
preparation for this. Saturday night at 9 o'clock, expect a single lane pattern in either direction. This is in preparation for the full roadway closure. Let's take a look at some of your travel times right now. 95, you're doing fine. From the Vine Expressway to the Blue Route, you're traveling at 50 miles per hour. Westbound on the Schuylkill, no delays from 95 to the Vine. Southbound on the Blue Route from the Schuylkill to 95, you're traveling at 53 miles per hour, and your total trip is going to take you 17 minutes. An accident right here. Oh, we did have an accident right here in Falls Township. That's been cleared out of the way. It was at Penn Valley Road and Route 13, so it is in the final stages of being cleaned up. So don't even worry about that. As you can see, you know, traffic should be moving fine throughout this area. And let's take a look elsewhere. Let's take a look at your South Jersey roadways. 42, 55, 295, all in fine shape. And some construction right here. It's on 309 between 413 heading southbound and Woodhaven Road. You do have that sound wall installation. It's been going on for a while. It'll be out there for a lot longer, but don't worry, not affecting traffic. Melissa, over to you. Okay, let's go ahead and check on that travel cast. And folks, if you're headed northeast of here, you're looking just fine. Boston, New York City, lots of sunshine, cooler temperatures, very comfortable. But you're still looking at some showers and thunderstorms. Moving into D.C. today, Raleigh has it right now. Atlanta as well. Steamy down to the south in Florida. So all of those spots with thunderstorms means turbulence and possible flight delays. Just a slight chance of thunderstorms in Houston. Otherwise, looking great throughout the Midwest with temperatures uh, nice, warm, very comfortable. And look at this, uh, fog to start the day in San Francisco. That means some flight delays, but shouldn't be any problems in Los Angeles. Coming down to 103 in Vegas, but jumping up to nearly 110 in Phoenix for highs today. Looking very warm in Denver, but a nice day there and looking good as well in Seattle. So the big problems remain on the East Coast and specifically Southeast into the Mid-Atlantic. Look at that big batch of showers and thunderstorms pressing we have a couple things at work here. High pressure that's building in, but we also have this center of low pressure that's rippling up along this stationary front, up along the coastline, dragging in ocean moisture, bringing us rain, combined with the fact that this cold front moves through overnight and will just sit around South Jersey tomorrow before it sort of just falls apart. High pressure building in and improving our weather conditions on Sunday. So until then, it looks like really this is pretty much going to win out, bring us unsettled weather, rainfall on Saturday. In fact, right now we already see some of that cloud cover streaming in from the south, and you can see with our closer view, look at the very heavy showers and thunderstorms and downpours, the bright reds and yellows pushing out of Carolina and up into Virginia, so already closing in now on Washington, D.C. Now, some of it is moving off the coastline, as you can see. The best chance of getting some really heavy-duty action is going to be to our south. Let me show you what I'm talking about with our future cast. Watching clouds increase through the afternoon, the light green area that you see with the chance of showers, Philly on south. But your best chance is going to be in central and southern Delaware. And as we get to the nighttime hours, especially heavy downpours moving out of Maryland and into Delaware. It's going to be a, one of those nights that's just a drenching rain. But the rest of us, periods of rain showers, periods of rain showers uh, tomorrow, Saturday, on into the evening time hours, especially Philadelphia on to the east and then starting to taper off in the evening. In fact, we might just have a few sprinkles out there overnight into Sunday. 80 to 85 for a high today. And we will see some showers out there later on this afternoon, especially to the south, but more so tonight around 70 for a low. Coming up, the extended forecast, Karen. Thanks, Melissa. Checking business news. It's the end of the line for one of the most famous department store chains in our area. The Strawbridge's name, which has been around since 1862, will disappear when it merges with Macy's next year. Nine Strawbridge's stores in our area will be sold off. The remaining Strawbridge's will become Macy's. United Airlines flight attendants are threatening to strike. Their pensions are being cut to get the airline out of bankruptcy. United says the necessary move will save $645 million a year. And Honda is getting to the plane business. The car maker unveiled its new Honda Jet, an experimental compact business aircraft. Keeping with its mantra, Honda says the six-seater boasts better fuel efficiency than conventional aircrafts in its class. And a little bit of rock and roll shook the crew of Space Shuttle Discovery out of bed last night. <laughs> That was U2's Vertigo. Today is the first full day of Joint Space Shuttle and International Space Station operations. The day will be highlighted by the installation of a cargo transportation module and spacewalk preparations.
And here's your quick traffic hit. We just got word of a disabled tractor trailer. It's on the Girard Point Bridge. It's on the northbound side right now, so we'll tell you more about that coming up next. Let's take a look at some of our travel times right now. 422, you're doing okay. Let's take a look at our maps. 422. You're doing okay. 202. All right, you're doing fine as well. 476. Let's do a bridge overview right now. Betsy Ross Bridge. Ben Franklin, you're doing just fine. No delays at the Walt Whitman Bridge either. Everything's okay. Ben Franklin, heading eastbound, you have that work zone taking out one lane. Everything's looking fine at the airport and mass transit. Melissa, over to you. Okay, here we go with our extended forecast. And today, very much like yesterday, with a high in the low 80s. But instead of a mix of sun and clouds throughout, we'll start out with more sunshine than we'll have later on this afternoon. More cloud cover with a chance of showers late, especially as we head into the nighttime hours overnight into tomorrow with periods of rain showers, including some heavy downpours overnight in Delaware, Northeast Maryland, starting to dry out as we head towards evening overnight into Sunday, a clearing day. And looking a lot better, too, temperature-wise, closer to the average in the mid-80s through Monday, climbing to 90 on Tuesday, upper 80s, Wednesday, and Thursday. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. And checking sports, the Eagles training camp officially starts today, and first at camp will be the rookies. Many signed to contracts that they will wish to renegotiate in 2007. Eagles vets will join the camp on Monday. And after three losses in a row, the Phillies finally take home a victory last night. Chase Utley had a solid performance against the Colorado Rockies. He had his 15th homer of the year. The final score, Phillies 8, Colorado 5. And Coach Larry Brown says his Hall of Fame coaching career will end coaching his childhood team. The Knicks made him the highest paid man in coaching history yesterday. He will be paid $10 million a season. Known for turning teams around, this one will be tough. He is the Knicks' fourth head coach in a year and a half. The time now is 6.20, and here's another look at your local stocks. We'll be right back. A portion of Wake Up News is brought to you by your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Announcing the Ford Family Plan now through August 1st. Get the same low prices Ford employees pay, plus any rebates on most 05 Ford vehicles. What? Feels so hot. That's what L.A. is talking about. So cool. Roll drive. Watch this, baby. Saturday night at 8 on UPN 57. Bobby Abreu and the Phils look to play home run derby against the Colorado Rockies. Saturday night at 8 on UPN 57. So Philly, so you. Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson in for Sean Murphy. Behind me, a shot of the Girard Point Bridge northbound. We have a disabled tractor trailer. I'll tell you about that right now. <laughs> right here behind you, you have a disabled tractor trailer. It is in the right lane. Not really affecting traffic too much at this time, but keep in mind if you are heading towards the Girard Point Bridge, watch out for this. You're lucky it is early, so not too much of a backup. Let's take a look at our maps right now, where we did have an earlier accident right here in New Jersey in Marlton. That's been cleared out of the way. It was southbound Route 73 near Brick Road, but that has been cleared elsewhere. Let's take a look at our 3D flyover of the New Jersey Turnpike northbound where we have construction between Burlington and Mount Holly exit right here and the PA Turnpike. Here's your construction spot. It's ongoing construction. It's taking out the right lane, but as you can see, not backing up traffic at this time. Northbound, you're doing fine. Southbound, no delays. Let's take a look southbound at the New Jersey Turnpike, where we also have some construction. It's between Burlington, Mount Holly Road and Route 73. It is taking out the right lane, but you are doing fine in this area. If you want to avoid the construction, even though it's not backing anything up, you can always head over to 290. Let's take a look at some of our major roadways. If you're heading down to the shore today, which it should be a nice weekend, we'll find out more about that from Melissa next. But Atlantic City Expressway is looking good, so is the Garden State Parkway and 195. And in Northeast Philly, you do have a malfunctioning traffic light. It is right here at Summerdale Avenue and Row Avenue. So be very careful here. And here's a look at some of your travel times. No delays on 95, the Blue Route, or the Schuylkill Expressway at this time. Okay, let's go ahead and bring you a short thing and show you what we have on tap there for today. And we're starting out pretty decently, actually, but skies will become mostly cloudy as the day wears on. Those uh, clouds really working in. With a chance of showers, possibly thunderstorms later on this afternoon, so boaters uh, stay tuned for that just in case there are some problems. Listen to NOAA Radio for the latest. Around 80 for a high today. Southeast breezes 5 to 10 miles per hour. The seas 3 to 4 feet. Water temperature 72 degrees. And boaters, you're fine along the coastline. But further out to shore, 
it's pretty rough seas. So stay closer to the coastline today. UV index puts us once again at a 7 in the high zone on our 11-point scale. And looking at your shortcast for the weekend, well, on Saturday, a high in the upper 70s, looking for scattered showers and thunderstorms. And on Sunday, 80 for a high, just a chance of seeing some showers primarily in the morning and getting better. But we already see the cloud cover rolling in with the showers on the way. Look at this very heavy rain, in fact, has moved through central uh, North Carolina, pushing up into Virginia. A lot of this looks like it's moving off the coastline and breaking up. There's a lot more moisture headed in, ocean moisture being wrapped in by an area of low pressure working its way up the eastern seaboard. So that's where we're getting the rain from later on. But for this day ahead, 72, partly cloudy skies when you're getting out and about for your morning commute. Noontime, 79, a mix of sun and clouds. And for your drive home, 82, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of showers then, but a better chance if you live south of Wilmington, Delaware. All right, let's show you what we have on tap for the weekend. If you're headed to the shore, this is the best thing you can do to check on the forecast. Call this toll-free number, 866-3SHORE-3. Our meteorologist, a colleague over at our sister station, CBS3, Kathy Orr, updates this line two times a day for 22 different shore towns. 866-3SHORE-3. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. 24 years ago today, a fairy tale wedding took Cinder Sage in Britain. Prince Charles married Lady Diana Spencer at St. Paul's Cathedral on July 29, 1981. The wedding day was declared a national holiday. 2,700 guests attended the service. An estimated million watched from the streets, and 700 million people watched worldwide on TV. The celebration started the night before with a fireworks display, the largest the country had seen in more than two centuries. And this is proof that beauty shines at any age is the sixth annual 40 plus model search 19,000 women entered the contest and second runner-up is 42 year old Cynthia Gal from Phoenixville Cynthia won a modeling contract with Wilhelmina and she'll be featured in the November issue of more magazine along with the rest of the finalists and still to come New Jersey beaches are getting the thumbs up from environmentalists we'll tell you why coming up to look at your roadways if you're heading to the shore you're doing just fine but i'll tell you about some construction on the new jersey turnpike when upn 57 wake up news returns a portion of wake up news is brought to you by valero drop by any participating valero retailer and pick up a credit card application to save five cents per gallon valero value variety room when I decided to go back to college, I looked at lots of different schools to find the perfect fit. Some were so big, I felt like a number. Some were too expensive, and others were catering to a slightly younger crowd. But Strayer University fit just right. Strayer focuses exclusively on working adults, so they understand what students need. They assigned me a personal admissions officer who walked me through everything, from which classes to take to all my financing options. She told me that the average Strayer student is 34 years old. They're busy working adults with families and full-time jobs, just like me. They offer classes evenings and weekends, in classroom and online so that I can fit earning a degree into my demanding schedule. No other university had as many ways for me to succeed as Strayer. Call this number to speak to an admissions officer who will show you how Strayer University can fit your life. Classes begin soon. Call now. <laughs> Gary Barberas. You pay what I pay. You pay what I pay. <laughs> you pay what I pay. You pay what I pay. You forgot the most important part of all, the deal. Gary Barbera, Baby Bentley 300s, Dodge Magnums, even Dodge Chargers. You pay what I pay. Your choice, $19,990. You pay what we pay. And, oh yeah. Come, Spencer sent you. Is Barbera the best? Boy, I guess. When you refinance at LendingTree.com, you can save up to $200 a month with a lower rate. Just think what you can do with the money. When banks compete, you win at LendingTree.com. Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson and for Sean Murphy, behind me a disabled tractor trailer northbound at the Gerard Point Bridge. I'll tell you about that next. And good morning, I'm meteorologist Melissa Sander. And coming up, we got some interesting things happening with our weekend. I'll tell you all about it this year. New developments in the search for a missing pregnant mother. Police search the home of the father of her unborn child. This is UPN 57 Wake Up News. 
Good morning. Let's start things off right here at the Gerard Point Bridge where we have a disabled tractor trailer. There it is in the back. It's in the right lane. So watch out if you're heading to the Gerard Point Bridge. This is going northbound, but as you can see, traffic is still moving along smoothly here. But as the morning rush continues, things might start to slow down. So if you could take an alternate, do so. Let's head over to our maps right now and take a look at some construction on the northbound New Jersey Turnpike. This construction is between Burlington, Mount Holly Road and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Here you go. Exit 6 right over there. It is taking out the right lane. Southbound on the New Jersey Turnpike, we have construction as well. This is between Burlington, Mount Holly Road and Route 73. It is taking out the right lane, but as you can see, not affecting traffic in either direction at this time. Let's take a look at some of your South Jersey major roadways, 42, 55, 295, all on the clear. So if you're heading to the shore, you have a good ride. Also, no delays on the Atlantic City Expressway, the Garden State Parkway, or 195. Let's take a look southbound at the Betsy Ross Bridge area, southbound on 95. This is where you have construction. It's taking out one lane. The construction is not out there yet. It will be starting at 9 a.m. and going until 3 p.m. today. So not affecting traffic now, and it won't affect your p.m. rush traffic. Let's take a look outside at 95. We're going to take a shot. Right here, this is at Woodhaven Road. As you can see, traffic is moving fine in both directions. You do have that construction between 413 and Woodhaven Road. It's for that sound wall installation. It's been out there for a while. It will continue to be out there. But as you can see, not affecting traffic. Let's take a look back at the maps. We go to Northeast Philly, where we have a malfunctioning traffic light. It's right here. It's at Somerdale Avenue and Devereux Avenue. Be very careful in this area. Use a lot of caution. And in Upper Darby Township, we did have an overnight fire right here at Brad Borden Road near Long Lane. That's been cleared out of the way. Melissa, over to you. Okay, let's talk about what is happening with our weather at this hour. And we're starting out just a degree warmer than where we were yesterday in Philadelphia. 70 degrees. Got a little bit more cloud cover over us in the city than we do in many of the suburbs. Our relative humidity is 84%. The winds are calm. The pressure is holding steady at 30.10 inches. And with our center city thermometer, we're a few degrees warmer. But many of us waking up to the low 60s and mid 60s. So, in fact, a couple degrees cooler than where you were at this hour yesterday. Yep, we do have some cloud cover streaming in, and as I was saying, Philadelphia is one of those places where you have some bands gliding over it right now. We also have some rain heading up in our direction, and this is starting to break apart a little bit, and some of it moving off the coastline, but we've already seen some showers starting to break out in uh, the eastern shore of Maryland. So we could get a chance of showers, Delaware beaches into some of the shore points this morning, but the better chance comes later on today. 80 to 85 for a high, so more sunshine this morning than we'll have this afternoon, increasing cloud cover as those showers start to move up the coastline area of low pressure, swinging in that ocean moisture for us. So a better chance of seeing more showers developing later in the day with south winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And look for periods of rain to develop tonight into the overnight hours, especially heavy down in Delaware and northeast Maryland. Uh, lows around 70 degrees. I'll tell you all about the weekend coming up with the five-day outlook in just a couple minutes. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. New developments in the search for a missing pregnant mother. Philadelphia police searched two homes overnight in hopes of finding evidence in the Latoya Figueroa case. The first house is that of Stephen Poche, the father of Figueroa's unborn child, who detectives are now questioning. Police took pictures but did not remove any evidence from the home. Authorities say the second home is that of Poche's current girlfriend, where they removed several bags of evidence and a piece of floorboard. Family, friends, and police searched Cobbs Creek Park yesterday looking for possible clues. It's just because of the close proximity of where the last person, the last location where Ms. Figueroa was seen, and we just felt that we wanted to do a, a real concise step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough as, quick as, we, as much as we could. Stephen Poche is the last known person to see Figueroa. He says the pregnant mother left his West Philadelphia home the afternoon of July 18th after they went to her doctor's appointment. Figueroa also has a seven-year-old daughter. A Delaware County neighborhood is on edge after two women are robbed and assaulted inside the home they share. Police say one of the victims is a cab driver who stopped by her Lansdowne home during her overnight shift yesterday. She found her roommate unconscious inside, and police say she was then grabbed from behind by the attacker and assaulted. He then ran off. And police say they now have the right suspect charged in the rape of a woman at a Chinatown subway stop. Estrada Cornelia De La Rosa was arraigned on rape, rape and murder charges 
rape charges yesterday. A big celebration was held last night for the men wrongly accused. Police say witnesses confused Omar De La Rosa for his half-brother Cornelio. Omar, a native of Mexico, still faces a deportation hearing for a 1999 conviction of assaulting a police officer. A nightclub bouncer accused of roughing up a patron now faces a lesser charge. Lyle Henry is accused of pushing David LaSalle over a rail on May 30th. That's after LaSalle was thrown out of a South Street nightclub in Philadelphia. Henry was originally charged with attempted murder and aggravated assault, but yesterday a judge reduced the charge to simple assault. The time now is 6.35 and time for another look at the roads with Michelle Gerson. Michelle, take it away. Thanks a lot, Karen. Let's start things off on 95 northbound where we have a disabled tractor trailer. Let's take a look outside at our cameras. It's a disabled tractor trailer in the right lane. As you can see, not really affecting traffic at this time, but keep this in mind if you are heading northbound. As the morning continues, it may start to make an impact on your ride. Let's take a look at some of our travel times right now. We're going to take a look right here at 422. As you can see, you are doing fine from Oaks to 202. Normally, this is where you build up, but still a little early, so you're doing okay. Northbound on 202, no delays from 30 to the Schuylkill, and southbound on the Blue Route, you're doing fine from the Schuylkill to 95. Let's head over to the Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Turnpike where we have a construction project right here. This is starting Saturday night at midnight and going until Sunday morning at 6 a.m. You could expect a road closure. Also expect a single lane pattern at 9 o'clock Saturday night in preparation for this full road closure. Elsewhere, let's take a look in northeast Philadelphia where we did have a fire right here. It looks to be cleared out of the way. Actually, it was a traffic light problem. That looks to be cleared out. Somerdale Avenue and Devereux Avenue will check on that and see if that traffic light is back up and running. We'll get back to you on that in the next report. And let's take a look at our bridges right now. No delays on the Betsy Ross. Ben Franklin Bridge, you have that one lane with construction heading eastbound, westbound. Fine. Walt Whitman, you're doing okay. Karen, over to you. Thanks, Michelle. And now I'm going to give it on over to Melissa for a look at today's weather forecast. Melissa? All right, today is looking like uh, like yesterday a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. Starting off just a little bit cooler, actually, for most of us in the suburbs. And we are starting off with low 60s to mid 60s. But in Philadelphia, actually a degree or two warmer. 70, the official temperature in Philly. But in Center City with our thermometer there, 73 degrees. So right now, we have a little band of cloud cover over Philadelphia, and that's how our temperature is pretty stable. But many of you waking up to some nice sunshine. We did stay dry yesterday with a mix of sun and clouds, but we're going to see more clouds working their way in through the afternoon hours. And look at this. We already see some showers in the past 45 minutes starting to push into the eastern shore of Maryland and just a little bit moving into southern Delaware. So we could have just a chance of showers this morning in Delaware, the shore points, but a better chance this afternoon. And the air quality today, air quality is good for both ozone buildup and pollution in the atmosphere. The tree, grass, and the weed po pollen is moderate, but the mold spore count is very high once again. And your day ahead goes like this. Partly cloudy sky, 72, getting out and about this morning. Noontime, 79, with a mix of sun and clouds. You see increasing cloud cover through the day, mostly cloudy by the time you're driving home, 82, with a chance of seeing showers by then, especially if you live south of Wilmington, Delaware. And here's what's happening tonight then. Periods of rain showers developing, including heavy downpours overnight in Delaware, in eastern Maryland. And tomorrow, periods of rain, especially Philadelphia on south and east, and that starts to taper off late in the day into the evening time hours with maybe just a little bit of sprinkles lingering overnight to first thing Sunday morning, then clearing out with our temperatures bumping up Sunday and Monday. A very seasonable in the mid 80s, 90 by Tuesday with a lot of sunshine. Talk about the travel cast and the extended forecast in a couple minutes. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. In the headlines, the excessive heat that has now left our area is being blamed for another death. 71-year-old Jean Castillo was found dead in her home in the 2400 block of South Hutchinson Street in Philadelphia. Police say the windows were closed and there was no air conditioning. Encouraging words from a new shore report. Environmental groups say many New Jersey beaches, once plagued by pollution, are on the mend. In its annual report, the Natural Resources Defense Council says New Jersey shore closures were down in 2004 from the year before.
But it's not all good news. Nationwide, the number of beach closings last year was the highest since the group has been keeping track of them. And trying to get through the cash tolls down the shore on any weekend can turn into a long wait. That's why the New Jersey Turnpike Authority is giving out Easy Pass applications on the Turnpike and Garden State Parkway this weekend. Right now, 67% of Turnpike drivers and 61% of Parkway drivers use Easy Pass. That's about 750,000 cars each day. And still to come, it's being called an anti-cancer smart bomb. How it could help fight cancer answer in a new way. And a new energy bill is expected to pass the Senate that would affect you and your clock. Details coming up. And here's a look at 95 Northbound at the Gerard Point Bridge. You have a disabled tractor trailer in the right lane. I'll tell you about that when UPN 57 Wake Up News comes back. Car in the shop again? Get free. Lemon Law help now. Call 1 800 Lemon Law. You can get a new car or a refund. 1 800 Lemon Law or visit lemonlaw.com. time, you can count on Kraft shredded cheese to taste great. And with the fresh slide, that Kraft taste you love today will be just as delicious tomorrow. If it makes it till tomorrow. Kraft shredded cheese. All the taste, all the time. I wish that I could live If you're looking to add some sizzle to your wardrobe, the Eternity Stores have all the latest styles for women and kids. The Eternity Stores have the largest selection of name brand jeans, many two for 20 bucks. Put some spring into your step with the hottest styles of shoes from top designers like Steve Madden, Kenneth Cole, Nine West, and many more. Shop at any of our six Eternity Stores locations. The Eternity Stores, fashion that fits your style. Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson in for Sean Murphy. Behind me we have a disabled tractor trailer. This is northbound on 95. He is in the far right lane. You have that split traffic pattern right here. This is at the Gerard Point Bridge and you, two, you have two right lanes and one left lane. He is in the far right lane and he is jamming traffic up in that far right lane. So head around him, head into that left lane or head into that other right lane. And if you're coming southbound, your split traffic pattern, you have two left lanes and one right lane and you are doing fine in this area. Let's take a look at our maps right now. We're going to take a look southbound 95 at the Betsy Ross Bridge. You have construction that is going to take out one lane. This is going to start at 9 a.m. today and go until 3 p.m. So it won't affect your rush later on this afternoon. Let's take a look elsewhere. Southbound 95, we have that construction. It is right here between 430 and Woodhaven Road. It's at Soundwall Installation, not backing up traffic at this time. As you can see, your green cars, both southbound and northbound, you are doing fine. Elsewhere, we have a construction project on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This is going to start Saturday night at midnight and go until Sunday at 6 a.m. You are going to have a full lane road closure here, a full road closure. So in preparation for this, Saturday night at 9 p.m., you could expect a single lane pattern in either direction in preparation 
for that full roadway closure. And let's take a look at some of your bridges right now. You are doing fine at the Betsy Ross Bridge. No delays east or westbound. Ben Franklin Bridge heading into New Jersey. No delays at this time, but you do have that construction taking out the right lane. Westbound, you're doing fine. No delays at the Walt Whitman Bridge. Everything's looking fine at the Betsy Ross and everywhere else as well. Let's take a look at the New Jersey Turnpike where we have some construction heading northbound. It's from Burlington Mount Holly Road up to exit 6. This is the Pennsylvania Turnpike. As you can see, not affecting traffic both north and southbound. And elsewhere, you also have some construction heading southbound on the New Jersey Turnpike. This is from Burlington Mount Holly Road down to Route 73 in the Mount Laurel Marlton area. Also, traffic is looking fine in this area. No delays north or southbound. And 295 in the same area is doing fine. Mass transit on or close to schedule. Melissa, over to you. All right, here we go with the travel cast. And if you're heading up to New York, to Boston, you got a whole lot of sunshine there. Looks like showers and thunderstorms moving into D.C. today, along with what's already in Raleigh, continuing to push on up the coastline. Atlanta, some thunderstorms are possible. Orlando, Miami, where the steam heat is, it's possible there, too. So Washington on south, that does mean possible flight delays for you. A slim chance of that, with a slim chance of seeing thunderstorms in Houston. It's looking really nice with the Midwest high pressure in control. And the same deal on the west coast, where you could have some flight delays in the morning. San Francisco with fog there, no problems with Los Angeles. Temperatures down a bit in Vegas, 103 up in Phoenix to near 110, looking good in Seattle and in Denver. So the trouble spots, well, southeast into the mid-Atlantic. And you can see the showers, thunderstorms, very heavy downpours is moving up the coastline and falling apart some, but should fire up again with the heat of the day, the sun activating that. Let me show you what's going on. We have high pressure building in, but we also have this area of low pressure working in ocean moisture as it works up along the coastline heading out our way and bring us some rain showers. Plus, this cold front moves through during the overnight hours, and then it's just going to kind of sit there tomorrow just in South Jersey, Delaware, Drape there, and keep our weather unsettled until high pressure really builds in and improves our situation on Sunday. So looking like an unsettled start to the weekend with rain showers. And let me show you what's going on with our satellite radar image already. The clouds streaming in from what's moving up the coastline. You can see how heavy those downpours were, the bright red and oranges through central North Carolina. A lot of that pushing towards the coastline. And here we have a little piece that's moved up to Virginia. And this piece of energy has already pushed into uh, the eastern shore of Maryland and into southern uh, Delaware as well, the Marfa Peninsula. So showers are a possibility down to our south in Delaware and the shore points this morning. But a better chance of seeing more of that developing in the afternoon hours. For most of us this afternoon, the light green area you see is mainly cloud covers, maybe a few sprinkles out there. Better chance of more showers moving in later on tonight. And look how the bright yellow, very heavy rain moves through during the overnight hours, downpours in eastern Maryland and into Delaware. So tomorrow is one of, the, one of those days where we have periods of rain showers, especially Philadelphia on south and east, and then starting to dry up as we head into the nighttime hours. 80 to 85 for a high today, and then tonight around 74, a low. Again, mainly cloudy skies, with those showers developing very heavy in Delaware. We'll talk more about what's ahead with the extended outlook in just a minute. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. A new study finds the waistlines of Americans are expanding along with their paychecks. A survey by CareerBuilder.com finds that 47% of workers say they've gained weight since starting their present jobs. 39% of workers say they eat out at least three times a week instead of packing a lunch. Scientists say they've developed a kind of anti-cancer smart bomb to kill tumors. The bomb is actually a molecule filled with chemotherapy and has only been tested on mice. Once injected, it seeks out cancerous tumors and buries itself inside. The bomb then explodes, releasing the chemotherapy and destroying the tumor. Scientists believe it can eventually be used on humans. The FDA has given a preliminary okay for silicone gel breast implants to return to the market. The Food and Drug Administration told the Mentor Corporation its implants meet the criteria for approval. But the company must still satisfy a number of conditions before it gets the final okay. One of those conditions is to make sure women know the implants could burst and release gel inside their bodies. And here's your quick traffic hit. Let's start things off at your shore points. If you're heading to the shore, your major roadways right here in South Jersey, 4255, 295, they're all doing just fine. Let's take it outside to the Ben Franklin Bridge. Here we go. We've got a smooth ride, both east and westbound. You do have that construction taking out 
one lane heading eastbound into New Jersey. And taking a look at your mass transit, everything's fine on the buses, regional rails, and subway systems. No delays on Amtrak, Patco, or New Jersey Transit. Airports, no delays on arrivals or departures at a Philadelphia International Airport. And elsewhere, everything is looking fine on all of your major and secondary roadways. I'll tell you more about the accidents next. Melissa, over to you. All right, let's look at that extended forecast. And today, a high like yesterday in the low 80s. Very, very comfortable, but more cloud cover streaming in with a chance of showers, especially as you get into late afternoon, the nighttime hours, downpours overnight in Delaware, periods of rain developing for most of us of Philadelphia on south and east, especially through Saturday and then starting to clear out as we head towards Sunday. 84 for a high. That's pretty seasonable. Monday too, 86. Even warmer on Tuesday, 90. And in the upper 80s, Wednesday and Thursday, a lot of sunshine. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. Checking sports. The Eagles training camp officially starts today. And first at camp will be the rookies. Many signed to contracts that they will wish to renegotiate in 2007. Eagles vets will join the camp on Monday. And after three losses in a row, the Phillies finally take home a victory last night. Chase Utley had a solid performance against the Colorado Rockies. He had his 15th homer of the year. The final score, Phillies 8, Colorado 5. Coach Larry Brown says his Hall of Fame coaching career will end coaching his childhood team. The Knicks made him the highest paid man in coaching history yesterday. He will be paid $10 million a season. Known for turning teams around, this will be tough. He is the Knicks' fourth head coach in a year and a half. The time now is 6.50. Here's another look at your local stocks. We'll be right back. When you refinance at LendingTree.com, you can save up to $200 a month with a lower rate. Just think what you can do with the money. When banks compete, you win at LendingTree.com. Why should you switch to DirecTV today? Well, how about getting over 140 of your favorite channels for only $29.99 a month? Compare that to cable. I was really sick of the way my cable company was treating us. We didn't know we had options, so we did nothing for years. Then I got DirecTV. I had digital cable and it was crazy. Only some of the channels were actually digital. With Direct TV service, 100% of the channels are digital. I got my entire Direct TV system for free. It was installed for free, and I even got a free DVD player. I didn't have to buy a thing. It's better picture, better sound, more channels, and more reliable. It's free installation, and it was cheaper than cable. You don't have to settle. Get it direct. Get free equipment, including installation, for up to four rooms and for only $29.99 a month through this special television offer. Plus, while supplies last, you'll receive a DVD player free just for subscribing. Pick up the phone and schedule your installation today. Just pick up the phone and do it. Tired of paying high prices for shoes? You don't have to. The $29.99 Shoe Warehouse is wholesale to the public. And our owners from New York City are holding a grand opening. Get here now for over 20,000 pairs to choose from at one price. $29.99. Nike, Reebok, Timberland, Rockport, New Balance, Adidas, and more. The same shoes that cost $70, $90, even $100 at the mall, just $29.99. Infant to youth size 3, just $19.99. Plus name brand clothing at drastically reduced price. The $29.99 Shoe Warehouse, Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, and South McDade Boulevard, Darby. Gary Barberas. You pay what I pay. You pay what I pay. <laughs> you pay what I pay. You pay what I pay. You forgot the most important part of all, the deal. Gary Barbera, Baby Bentley 300s, Dodge Magnums, even Dodge Chargers. You pay what I pay. Your choice, $19,990. You pay what we pay. And, oh yeah. Come, Spencer sent you. Is Barbera the best? Boy, I guess. Traffic.com. Think of us as traffic.com.
morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Jerson in for Sean Murphy. We have a disabled tractor trailer. Let's start things off northbound on 95 right here. This is at the Gerard Point Bridge. As you can see our sky view, that is where your disabled tractor trailer, it is blocking the right lane. And that's where we have that split traffic pattern as well. So approaching the Gerard Point Bridge, you have two lanes going to the right heading northbound, one to the left. This tractor trailer is in the far right lane. So head over to that middle right lane, the left right lane, if that makes sense or that left lane and you'll get by that tractor trailer. Southbound side, you're doing okay, but avoid that far right lane because traffic is jamming up into that area. Elsewhere, let's take a look outside at 95. We're going to take a look at the Betsy Ross Bridge right now. As you can see right here, headlights are heading southbound towards the Betsy Ross. You're doing just fine. You will have one lane of construction starting at 9 a.m. this morning, going until 3 p.m. But as you can see right now, traffic is moving fine, both southbound and northbound. Let's take a look back at our maps. And we are going to take a look right now with some more construction. It's southbound 95 between Route 413 and Woodhaven Road. It's a sound wall construction installation that they've been working on for a while, but not affecting traffic at this time in either direction. Elsewhere in Perky Omen Township, we have an accident. It's right here at Big Road. This is Route 73 and Gravel Pike. This is Route 29. Elsewhere in Limerick Township, we have construction. It's right here at Limerick Road, closed between Greater Ford Road and Ridge Pike. So go with Township Line Road here instead. And elsewhere in Plymouth Township, westbound Ridge Pike at Chemical Road and at Cowell Lane. And at North Lane, you have scheduled construction blocking the right lane. This is going to start at 9 a.m. and go until 3 p.m. today. And northbound right here, this is at Route 309, you have construction. It is from Route 73, the Flower Town off-ramp is closed. Also Route 73, Church Road, the ramp to southbound 309 is closed. All right, now let's go ahead and show you what's happening at the shore. Okay. Right now, we have a lot of sunshine there, but things are going to change. Clouds rolling and becoming mostly cloudy as we head towards the midday, early afternoon hours with a chance of showers, well, a weak chance this morning, better chance later on this afternoon to the nighttime hours. A high today around 80, southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. The seas 3 to 4 feet. The water temperature 72. Boaters stay tuned to NOAA Radio in case of those showers and possible thunderstorms roll in later on today. You UV index once again in the high zone, 7 on our 11-point scale. And if you're headed to the shore this weekend, here is your shore cast for Saturday. Ah, uh, you're looking at periods of showers and possible thunderstorms. 78 for a high on Sunday. Just a chance of that mainly in the morning. Otherwise, 8 degrees for a high. So it should be an improving day on Sunday. And if you're looking to get around somewhere else in the region, try the Poconos then. It's looking really good there. Partly cloudy Saturday and Sunday in the mid-70s. And well, in the mid to upper 70s, so closer to 80 degree mark, actually. New York City with showers and thunderstorms on Saturday looking good on Sunday. But the showers are possibly throughout the weekend in Washington. Highs in the low 80s there. So your best bet is up to the north and Poconos especially looking just terrific both days. And here we go with the day ahead, what you can expect. 72 degrees and partly cloudy skies for your morning commute. Then increasing cloud cover uh, through the day. Noontime 79 and by the drive home. Mostly cloudy, 82, with a chance of rain showers then, especially south of Wilmington. We'll tell you about the five-day outlook coming for just a couple minutes. Karen. Thanks, Melissa. Hold on to your clocks. Daylight saving time might be extended to save energy. A proposed bill would have us springing forward on the first Sunday in March and not falling back until the first Sunday in November. The U.S. Senate is expected to pass the bill today and send it to President Bush. The idea of the plan, which would begin in two years, is to reduce the need for heating and electricity. And time to welcome a furry new family to Philadelphia. This is a ring-tailed lemur on exhibit outside the Pico Primate Reserve at the Philadelphia Zoo. The smallest one, baby Iris, was born May 3rd. The animals are severely endangered in their native Madagascar. Still to come, new developments as please search for a missing pregnant mother. New details are ahead. 95 northbound right at Highland. Tail lights are northbound. You have a smooth ride, but I'll tell you about a disabled tractor trailer on 95 when UPN 57 Wake Up News returns. All of us have internal plumbing, but for some of us with frequent urges, our pipes just don't work as well as they should. Sometimes you worry you could spring an embarrassing leak. So why deal with it on your own when there's something more you can do? 
treated once daily with Vesicare. Vesicare can reduce urges and may even help relieve bladder leakage. If you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems, do not take Vesicare. While taking Vesicare, if you experience a serious allergic reaction, severe abdominal pain, or become constipated for three or more days, tell your doctor right away. Common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and indigestion. So why wait? Ask your doctor today if Vesicare is right for you. Fewer urges and leaks. With Vesicare, it's not just a pipe dream. If you love HBO, you need to get Comcast Digital Cable with HBO On Demand. With Comcast, you get a library with over 120 hours of HBO hit movies, specials, and original series you can start whenever you like. You can even watch award-winning original series like The Sopranos and the upcoming series Rome according to your schedule. It's like having a free HBO library right inside your TV. But HBO On Demand isn't available with satellite. So make the most of your HBO experience with Comcast Digital Cable. Watch Dr. Phil tonight at 10 on UPN 57. Good morning and welcome back to UPN 57 Wake Up News. I'm Michelle Durson in for Sean Murphy. Coming up, I'll tell you about a disabled tractor trailer on 95. And good morning, I'm meteorologist Melissa Sander. And coming up, I will tell you about how today is going to lead into an interesting weekend. I'll explain in a minute. New developments in the search for a missing pregnant mother. Police search the home of the father of her unborn child. And now, UPN 57 Wake Up News. It's Friday, July 29th. We've got nonstop traffic, the latest weather, and your morning headlines. Good morning. I'm Karen Adams. The time now is 7 o'clock. Michelle Jerson, how are those roadways looking? Well, right now, Karen, not too bad. Behind me is a shot of 202 at Route 30. As you can see, you are doing fine in both directions, heading north and southbound. Right now, you're riding northbound on 202 from Route 30 to 76.